Permanent home in my head. You moving like a goddess, come my way, my way, my way. Your hips on the move, only a real one can do what you do. I call the body, but you was the show. Like <laughs> Mdara, is it yes. Mdara or my brother? My brother, M Mandara, Mandara is somebody who's a bit elder. Oh, Mandala, yeah. no, I, you look my like a Zimbabwean. That's what I'm saying. That's when I was in school, I had my, my Zimbabwean friends call him Mandara, my brother. Yes. No, I'm You're Namibian. No, full Namibian. Full Namibian? Yes, yes. What is your name? Zulu. Ah, yeah. why are you called Zulu? Zulu is South African. No, but I, I was in South Africa for a while and then they thought I was a Zulu man. So, and then I blended, come, I look like one of them. I'm like, okay, South Africa, <laughs> Namibia, we are both one. Exactly. Yeah, we are but both hey, one. I mean, when I wanted to come to Namibia, yeah. everybody's telling me that you need to meet this multi talented young man from yes. Namibia. And I'm like, what is so unique about this guy? <laughs> Even your name, I couldn't pronounce it. What is P your name? Pini Ashikulo. Yes. Shikulo. 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 What Shikulo in our language means uh, Shikulo is a soldier. Oh, okay. Shikulo. Back in the days. So we are practically not called our surname Shikulo. You'll be killed by back in the days in the war. So it, it's like a fighter. Yeah, a young fighter. Uh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, yes. why is everybody talking about you? Because I really want to know you more. Who are you? What do you do? And why are you so unique to the people of Namibia? I should say, I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> why you don't know? Yeah. No, I don't know. And I know all the people watching us don't know, but I think every Namibian yes. knows you. Um, I think people know me because of my work that I do. Uh, I do do? quite do a lot of work. I'm a visual artist. I'm a visual uh, artist, okay. a visual graduate from the University of Namibia. Um, I'm a musician. I've been doing music for 10 years now, uh, okay. winning uh, award winning artist. I'm in a group called Ama Dance Floor. Uh, well, I, I, I do everything. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I have a brand now called Grey Vintage uh, Collection oh. where we do, look at my swag. So this is what we do. This is me right now in being in Grey Vintage Collection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Let's break it down. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. I'm an entrepreneur. Musician. Musician. Visual artist. Let's say I'm everything. Yeah, everything. I'm a god. You're born and raised in <laughs> Namibia? Definitely. I'm an art god. Art god. <laughs> or goat. You know, <laughs> goat. No, you know that song? Goat. I'm the goat? Yeah, I'm the goat. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. Man. I'm yes, the goat. Yes, yes. Uh, what is his name? A.Y. Poyo. A.Y. Poyo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the chain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shut up. He's the art yeah. goat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you know, you know what? Let's break it down. Yes. Born and raised in Namibia. Yes. You ever left Namibia? No, no. Not at all. Which Just for South Africa, I visited some few times. That's it. Which part of Namibia were you born? Uh, in the northern part of in Namibia. The northern part of yes. What Bumble brought you to Vinduk? Uh, my studies brought me to Vinduk. Also, better opportunities here in the city. There's more uh, uh, better opportunities in the north. The art is not really so appreciated. So here, it's much better to you know you can do your thing here and then people can appreciate and oh, people understand here. But what kind of art do you do? Um, I'm, I'm a visual artist. What kind of, I mean, what kind of art? I mean, art sometimes people use yeah. pen to yes. draw. Yes, yes. So what, 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 when, when I did art, art at school, uh, I did every medium. And then I decided to do, do something. I did uh, pyrography. It's, it's, a, it's a new art now where you burn wood, uh, creating an image, burning. You burn wood? I burn wood, yeah. <laughs> now I understand why everybody is talking about you, man. But hey, I mean, this this brick but this one yeah. is not a brick yeah no. this you is here this is where we live in the north when you go to the oh, northern part, the of, northern Namibia, part of Namibia you'll okay. find this uh, this is I did this at uh, a, an exhibition where I was selling my goods so I went all out and I, I went I built this in the city so so that everybody that from the north could come and you know just relate you carried this no this was made here I made it here in Venduk. okay so they came yeah. no you no, no. How come it ended up in your house? Uh, because after the, after the, yeah, the exhibition, I brought it here. <laughs> My yeah. brother, I, I, I want you to show me the kind of acts that you do. So maybe yeah, you can take me to your art shop. Definitely. Is it an art shop or workshop? It's, a, it's home, but I call it my art. Wow. Home. Let's go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. My man. Hey, you made a permit. Welcome. This is my beautiful home. Uh, as you can see, when you're welcomed here, it's art that welcomes you. Uh, you know, when the pandemic started, we started off uh, a small business, a food business. Okay. A very creative food business. It's called the Food Court. 
Uh, the reason why is I wanted to, you know, play around with food, different kind of food. Uh, we had a, uh, a chef that was here. So we, it's still an ongoing business. I nearly asked, yeah. were you the chef? Um, like actually, the, 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 the funny part, when I finished my visual art uh, course, mm -hmm. when I graduated, I, I, I had nothing to do that was interesting. Then I went to start a, a, a cooking school, I was at the cooking school, but now I couldn't finish because of funding. So that was my next passion. So with me, whatever I think of, I quickly jump on it. That's amazing. Yeah, that's why I came up with but the whole I mean, food court. After school, after doing visual arts in school, yes. you should have just go up, start looking for a job and all that. You yeah, know? definitely. Uh, you start I, looking for a job? I, I used to work, then I quit my job. Whoa. Yeah, I used to work for three companies. I quit my job simply because I felt I can do much better on myself. And the then salary was not enough? The salary was okay, I should say, but it didn't give me more freedom. That's why I ended up having my own company and then I opened up my own graphic design uh, agency uh, here at home and I also employ a few people. I employ five graphic designers. So, that's yeah, so that's how I started uh, also venturing into fashion. Yeah. This Let's get in. <laughs> got a lot of Let's stuff. get in. I want to break this door. <laughs> Welcome to my home studio. Whoa. This is where I create all the magic. Uh, this is where I stay, basically. Yeah. You stay here. I stay here. And yeah. you work here. I work here. So which means when I wake up, quickly run to the studio, go back to the room. <laughs> what is this? Um, this is a technique I was talking about, pilography. Okay. Um, it's where I transfer an image of someone onto wood. Um, I create. The, the frame first of all, by the, the, the wood, then I create the frame and then I use a pencil to just create some outlines. Uh, yeah, a pencil and then from there we start the next process which is the burning. Um, I use a, this uh, device, soldering gun, or soldering iron, and then I just, uh, for example, uh, I get this artwork and then I, I just start burning. As simple start as burning. Yeah, start burning. Um, the, the, the outcome of that is simply something like this. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's the outcome of an image. This was just, uh, this image was a bit not clear, so we, I had to re, 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 redo it again. So uh, it's quite an easy process, but it takes time. So what I do is I, I try and uh, and, and burn dots, create dots until it's done. Just like that. How long does it take you to finish a complete? Well, this one probably takes me two days also. Takes me probably two days. That depends on the size. I can go even much bigger. Depends on the size. Yeah. Yeah. And how many people have you produced this? Well, so far, I should say I have produced for the president. The president last year gave him a gift. Oh, uh, yeah. friend he's of my, the friend. my friend. Tell the president I want to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa. So yeah, I've I've quite done a lot of work, even in galleries, public art. Um, so most of the time, right now, what I'm trying to emphasize is, is uh, uh, just to emphasize the arts in the community because I believe it's not well appreciated in our in our communities. So my focus right now is to create these platforms and give back to the community where we have. I go through small give small lessons to the kids in 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 in, in the communities and, and all that. Teach them. That's the transfer of knowledge. Yeah, transfer of knowledge definitely. That's amazing. Yeah. Because well, what what I believe in is I need to transfer this knowledge so that we have a better future. And art is is where the world is right now. When you look at the developed countries is. If you're an artist right now, you could be a multi-millionaire. You're trying to say that Africans don't embrace art. I, I, I think we don't appreciate it so well. We do embrace it, but it's taking time. But, uh, looking in our country as Namibia, it's taking time. And I think it's time the world needs to see and come discover this. But is this it part expensive of the world. to get one of this? Well, um, well, the reason why I produce these artworks is, as I said, is to educate people. Okay. And because art is very expensive when you look at uh, international artists and so on. So I try to bring a reasonable price, a reasonable price. So for example, this piece uh, in Namibian dollars, not US dollars, <laughs> in rand, uh, a piece like this, it costs you a thousand dollars. thousand? Yeah. In, 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 in Namibian, in, Namibian, in, Namibian dollars. Yeah. Um, and the bigger it goes, the, 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 the higher the amount goes. Um, so, 
actually i produce art that i want to the people to understand and appreciate and and so that it's affordable for them to gift someone or you know give uh give away or you know something the, like the that. the fact that yeah. uh, i mean the appreciation for the act alone yes that yeah encouraging mm -hmm. yes but what is that one thing that keeps you moving there um i think it's my community um my community um i, I feel i have a responsibility as, as, a, as an artist i have a voice to give out um i have an influence and and it's my responsibility to to, to show these kind of things. Um, and right now I know there are people, five kids looking up to me, but I, it, that keeps me going every day. Uh, when I meet the guys that are from the streets, mm. uh, you know, when I hear their stories every day, when I hear the people from the community, uh, when I hear a, a lady that wakes up at five o'clock to go sell kapana, we have kapana, I don't know yeah. if you tried it. Yeah, I've tried it. Um, to go sell kapana, and I have friends that uh, were, their parents used to sell fat cakes and they made it to university through that fun. That motivates me every day, you know. Seeing someone, a meme going to Kapana in the cold, you're saying right now it's cold, in the cold of Windhoek, uh, it keeps me motivated. Like, wow, man, uh, why should I sleep while I have these opportunities right now? Why can I not make use of the talent that I have and share it with the people around us? Yeah. You know what? This is what you do, right? Yes. Is there anything that you do aside yes definitely apart from that as i said i'm a visual artist graduate um i have a graphic design company um i'm a photographer i'm a videographer <laughs> i'm everything you know, you know, but, you know like what, what i got here yes. somebody told me that you also design yes socks socks definitely yes that's the next uh, interesting topic i'm gonna talk about um we met with my partner we met at an event okay just chilling you know chilling you know having some good time and then our selling socks, colorful socks. The selling socks? Yes. They are not my brand. I just bought from a store and it was the cool thing. You know? It was a hassle. Yeah, it was a cool thing around. I'm like, yay, I'm going to sell socks. Um, you know, some people were asking, why are you selling socks? I'm like, come on, man. I got to do something because I don't want to sell clothes. Because uh, what mostly people do is they go buy uh, clothes and the brand on here. It was too cliche everybody was doing it so i wanted to be you know different do something because i like to feel that way just do something separate and then i saw the socks um we met with my partner we had this whole long ongoing conversation like whoa why can't we start up something that that represents us that if you are in ghana you are in nigeria but you're namibian you see with the namibian flag you know, that reaction, or you see me with a child, a Himba child on the socks. That, that was the conversation. How do we translate our, uh, our local people or our landscape colors, you know, into fashion? That's how we came up. We came up with Gwery socks. The, um, the term Gwery means, uh, you know, when you're not in the community, you're not so cool. What do you call yourself? How do you guys call it when you're not cool? You're not cool. Yeah, you're like... You are always like, ah, you don't really know a lot no, of things. Okay. What do you guys call that person? You know, the, the B, the, like, the, the B, I don't know, like, for us, the, the people that, when you take them to the hood, they yes. can't react. Okay. They cannot react. Yes. They always want to stay. Yeah. So, the whole concept that we have uh, is, I wanted to unite everyone. In society, we feel some people are not so cool. So, the term query, if I call you a query, it means you're not so cool. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you are Gwery, like you don't know things. You are not so cool. No, no, no. So, what's the opposite of Gwery? Opposite of Gwery. It's cool, being cool. Like, so that is in yeah, your language. In, in our language, a, a, a community slang, it's a slang. Yeah. If you're not cool, you're like a Gwery. Like, you, you're cool? It doesn't really have a name. I but just wanted to say I'm cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so the thing is that, um, if you're not cool, you're called a query. So if it's like, if you don't know the current um, trends, you know, you're just laid back, you know, yeah, yeah. so you're called a query. So I decided to call my brand a query because I wanted to unite people because I, I believe we are all humans and we, sh we should be as one. I, I don't want to call you a query. If I'm calling you a query, I'm also a query. Exactly. So we are one. Exactly. So it was the whole unity thing of, of coming up with that brand. And then that's how it started. Then everybody come, they started calling me, oh, Gwery, Gwery, hey, what's up, Gwery? I'm, I'm also a Gwery. Then that, that's how we started. Um, when we started with our designs, 
we looked at what are we focusing on. We started doing a local, um, it's, a, it's a print called Delela print. Mm -hmm. It's worn by the Oshuamba speaking. Mm -hmm. When we're at weddings, it's, it's, a, it's a red, black stripe. Sometimes it's mixed with white. So those stripes, that's what we started putting on our socks. We started with our Hendrik Red Boy, he's a, he's, a, he's a leader, and also our Namibian flag, and that's how we started the whole movement of socks. As I was saying before, uh -huh. I have two homes. I have two homes. <laughs> Where we were, and now this is my second home. This is another magic. Another magic, <laughs> yes. These guys perform magic everywhere in Namibia. What yeah. happens in here? What goes on in this place? This is where the socks are being oh. sold. Remember I told you we have a line of uh, socks? Exactly. This is where the magic is. You see the one I, I was talking about where we have the Delela, the Oshibamba traditional attire. This is inspired by there. Um, this is the Ovahimba boy. It's a it's a local language. It's a, it's a tradition. It's a, it's a Vahimba people. There are people that live in Namibia. So this is a boy. Um, this is Swakopmund, and this is an African lady. So everything that represents Namibia. Namibia, of, of course, because the whole. Why, why, why would you do that? What is the we, idea behind it? We we want to sort of speak the same language. If you are from Namibia, then you understand. Oh, you are like this is home. Oh, look at your socks. Oh, are you from Namibia? Oh. <laughs> So it, it was, it, it's a way to represent us across Africa, uh, to have an identity, mm. you know. So the, right now, in, in fashion, you need to make a statement. So this is our statement. Yeah. It's beautiful. So apart from the socks at our shop here, we have done collaborations with bigger brands in Africa, also in Namibia. Um, right now, this is a brand from South Africa, Simon oh. & Mary. They're from Johannesburg. So they've been doing heads for many years, uh, around 80 years now. So we have a collaboration where we, okay. dis we distribute their products in our shop where we are working on our, our designer heads that we are manufacturing with them. Yeah. Right here in Africa? Right here in Africa. Wow. Right here in Africa. But, but, but you were telling me that um, this socks is yeah. actually, um, the name is what? Gwery, Gwery Socks. Not Gwery. so cool. Not so cool people, right? <laughs> I'm not so cool, yeah. so I so think I'm to get one. Yes. <laughs> um, and the interesting part, uh, when we started with the whole movement of the socks, okay. uh, different entities and different um, people saw what we are doing. Uh, when COVID started, um, I started a small initiative where I was donating water to the less privileged in the community. Exactly. So it was an activity that I took by, it's by my heart. And I just wanted to help out the people and I wanted to update them on the pandemic that was coming. So I managed to uh, donate 10,000 liters of water and also food and also other things, perishable food and uh, a few goodies. Uh, then the, the bank, Standard Bank, spotted what I was doing and then we came up with a new collaboration. Whoa. Now, um, with this collaboration, this is the interesting part. Standard Bank, uh, creates a fund called Bybrick, where they create funds and then they give it to Shack Dwellers Federation. What Shack Dwellers Federation does, they build houses for people living in shacks. For example, if you don't have a nice job or you can't afford to have a proper house, they can build your house. Yes. So that's how we started with whole, this whole collaboration, where we started doing designing socks for them. And then once we design the socks, the fund goes to building houses for people. How much is this one? It's a hundred dollars. Hundred Namibian dollars or rent. No, hundred dollars, a hundred Namibian dollars. <laughs> hundred Namibian dollars. <laughs> if I say hundred dollars, <laughs> it will go to <laughs> US dollars. <laughs> so, yes. like, so yes. which means if you buy one of this, yes. What is the percentage to the bank? 60, uh, 60 percent goes to. Forty goes to. Yeah, the bank to the to the, the bank. bank. Yeah. And the sixty comes Hope to. Come. Yes. Wow. So the sixty percent buys a brick. Yes to build houses yes. for people living in shacks. shacks. Yes. And you can see here, um, this is in 2015. Uh, it was launched, the Barbary campaign was in 2015. Here we are not part of the project. Uh, in uh, 2016, 1.4 million was raised. In uh, 2017, 2 million. And it goes, so we came to the Barbary with our donation of the socks. We came to 2019. So part of the 13 million raised, we are part of, part it. of it. Yes. We have built 103 houses across the whole country and also 
here uh, in 2020 last year we made 1.3 million which was part of the socks was also part of the campaign do you just sell the socks right here or you just can't... right here also the bank sells it uh, retailers I'm, I'm talking about like those of us living outside namibia yeah. will you be able to get this definitely we are able to to order you are able to order then we create uh, wherever how do we order you through our social media platforms yes. so you know how we know it. it's by force to buy a brick yes you know it's by force to buy a brick yeah, yeah. so let's do this to support a brother's business yes uh, but uh, let me know you know you're a young african you yes. have a lot of young africans watching us if you have a message for young africans what would that message be the message is very clear it can be Anything that you do, anything that you dream of. Um, when we started off, we are, we are never here. You know, it, it's a process and people need to understand it's a process. So I just believe in whatever you do. Uh, believe in whatever you we are doing. I, I know one day you feel like, oh my God, today I'm not feeling well. Oh my God, I need to push. You will make it one day. That's very easy. That's, this is, yeah. I mean, you're young. You've yes. done something incredible. Yes. I mean, a lot of people were telling me about you even before I go here. Mm. But there's one thing I want to know, yeah? Do you have to have a lot of money mm. to be where you are no. right now? No, definitely not. not Did you at all. spend a lot of money? No. We started with 200 pairs. 200 pairs. We, we produced 200 pairs. Within two, within two days, it sold out. That's, we kept on the profit until we made, keep on saving, what? saving, 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 saving. And that's how we made it. So you always don't have to go look for a loan. Start with the little that you have. Start with the hundred dollars that you have. One day it will take us far. <laughs> One day it will take us far. Yes. Where do we find you on social media? Social media, Grey Vintage. Uh, we are on Instagram. We are on Twitter. We are on Facebook. You can get us there. Yeah. I want to say thank you so much for taking me out. Um, I'm not leaving you without giving you no. a, a pair because <laughs> just to appreciate you for coming here, <laughs> I'm going to give you, <laughs> you need to select one pair that you're going to take home with. So one day when you wait. This shows that I was in Namibia. Yes, and then you walk in the street. How do you guys walk? You, you, you guys walk like this? <laughs> we, walk like, we walk like we have a lot of money. Yeah, how do you walk? How do you, show me that you walk. I, I need to learn. <laughs> Thank, you Thank, so you so much, Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much, my brother.